think dance keeps us above the influence because dance is a distraction from everything else that's bad. It's like, dance is like a good drug that keeps you away and relieves all your stress. I choose to live above the influence because I've seen the community around me and I've seen friends and family members who choose to not live above the influence and I've seen the negative effects that it's had on them and the people around them and even, into our, even in our community. I have seen it since I was a little kid. I've been told about it and then found it to be true. I decided that that's not the path I want to take. So I decided to be very, try to be as proactive as I could. So it's very important for youth to stay above the influence because they are the next generation. But with the help of us, the youth, by going in the right path and choosing the right decisions, we can make this world become a better place, you know, more peace, no wars, you know, less pollution. So it is very important to stay above the influence and going the right path because life is important and we only get one chance. Well, I think it's important that youth get involved in a lot of after school activities because it really, you know, helps you to gain the leadership skills that you need to be successful later on in life. And it also helps you realize that regardless of what school you go to, whether it be, you know, a very edgy school or a particularly sheltered school, the same problems are still around. And there's always ways to help fight against that. And it's not really you're getting rid of people that are doing that. You're actually helping them to do better in the long run. So it makes you feel like you have a purpose. Uh, my name is Eric Rodriguez. I'm the branch executive of the Boys and Girls Club here in Mesa, Arizona. Um, I've been here for about three years. I've been involved um, with this uh, this community uh, my entire life. Being involved with the Boys and Girls Club, you know, I, I, you know, I was able to kind of you know have my first time job and and uh, uh, you know volunteer you know throughout the community through them. Uh, now um, it's it's uh, it's and many years later, and uh, the Boys and Girls Club still does a lot for the community. Um, right now, my current job is is to uh, to run the Boys and Girls Club here in Mesa. You know, do the all the financials. You know, make sure all the kids are taken care of. Uh, make sure that we we continue to recruit kids uh, because the city of Mesa is one of the largest cities in the U.S. and um, and I really understand that that uh, um, there's a lot of youth and teens that can benefit from uh, from an after school program or some more programs. So my job is to make sure that we continue to bring these youth in here and these teeth in here to succeed. Okay, ALADS. ALADS stands for Alliance of Leaders Against Drugs. And uh, we've been around for about almost two years now. And we've done many things to help the community. My name is Lauren and I am a former ALAD facilitator, ALAD standing for Alliance of Leaders Against Drugs. And the ALAD program is affiliated with the Mesa Prevention Alliance, which is a local substance abuse coalition in Mesa that addresses uh, youth alcohol and marijuana use in the community as well as some other drugs. And basically the ALAD program was created to be able to empower youth in Mesa to create positive change in their community, as well as giving them the skills that they need to be successful adults. The ALAD program has also helped me do some public speaking, organize some events, and um, communicate with other youth that want to make it better in our community. Um, what the lads do is we actually host community events and we have anti-drug campaigns and alcohol camp campaigns. So we try to stop drug abuse and alcohol abuse in our community, spe specifically with younger students at schools and even, even any people of any age in the community. So some things that I've done with the lads since I've 
been with them is I actually went to speak with Mesa City Council and some other state representatives and we actually got to talk with them about ways that we can improve our community and sort of share with people what we're doing so that they can find ways to help us and we can help them and it's very beneficial to everybody. Hi, my name is Laura. Uh, I live in Mesa, Arizona. I have two kids in the program ALATS. Uh, and uh, my kids are in the program ALATS as a group of um, teenagers who get involved in the community. The benefits what I see from these um, from these meetings, from these groups, from my kids is they learn how to choose their friends. They um, they, should, they, they share the information, what they learn on these groups. They share this information with other friends because they learn how these uh, drugs can damage their brain, how these drugs can damage their body. So they, when they see other kids doing this, they try to share this information with them to let them know how this is going to affect them on their future. And this is um, the main reason why I like to be in this program. I'm proud of the kids that are choosing to be in youth programs, doing stuff after school, being in their community, and learning how to be a successful adult is such a critical component of anyone's life, especially a youth, and knowing that these kids are making a positive change and being able to help themselves to better their community is so rewarding. A lot of the kids growing up in Mesa, they may not have the positive adult role model to look up to, and so being a part of this ALAD program really gives them the identity and really gives them the chance to interact with other youth as well as receive the type of adult interaction that they may or may not be receiving at home or within their community. And so really what the ALADs do is they create positive change in their community. They empower youth to live above the influence of drugs and alcohol. Um, they empower themselves to be successful and to be better. Um, I've been a member of the Mason Prevention Alliance for about, uh, I'll say a little bit less than a year now, uh, during the time that I've been with the Alliance. Um, I'm able to understand um, the, the pretty much on, on a, a whole city level, you know, what the need is, um, you know, the community. I know there's a lot of, uh, you know, gangs and uh, there's a lot of drugs and a lot of peer pressure nowadays. Um, so now I understand by being a part of the Alliance that, um, um, all the resources that that are involved in trying to make um, the youth and the teens here, you know, productive citizens, and uh, and uh, to to give them alternatives to uh, alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. Okay, so right now, uh, what the alliance is doing um, is uh, we're trying to um, increase our membership base, um, and what that's going to do is it's going to bring you know people from different sectors, you know, um, you know, the business world, and and, and um, just just individuals that uh, that just want to make a difference. So pretty much what we're doing right now is. We're bringing everyone together. We're trying to find out, you know, each uh, each one's resource and uh, how we can apply it to make this community better for our kids. Um, our goal is to just expand. Uh, the city of Mesa, like I said, is it's a it's a huge city, and we're trying to uh, to reach all the teens and and uh, and you know all the adults and just everyone, um, you know, throughout the whole city. Um, we had the events, the Kermes. We organized some events for the kids. We had a Kermes where we have games. We have food, we have um, music, we have different contests for the kids, and we got involved with the kids in all the neighborhood, friends, families. We all got together just to keep the kids involved and try to help them how they can have the same fun without of any drugs or any alcohol involved. One of our most recent events that we've had is the Germes, which is like a block party. And we all had fun, and we had a lot of kids coming, teen kids coming, and um, we also passed on to them about being above the influence.